Hello and welcome back to another Microsoft Flight Simulator tutorial. My name is Legion and today I'll be taking you through how to fix some common errors with the new Mega Pack. Now, two of the most common errors are having users actually locate their community folder and uh, actually a extraction error with the files where Windows may give you a prompt to say that the file name is too long. So I've already gone ahead here and downloaded the latest version of the Mega Pack, which the link for that can actually be found in our Discord. And uh, I'll put it in the description as well. So if I go down here and open up this uh, file, so I'm just going to open this with 7-zip. All right. So once that opens up, you'll be presented with the libraries folder. Now, all of these have been uh, put into their own sections. So if you don't want all of them, you don't have to. Uh, you can go through and do essentially what you like with them. So what we want to do here is open up the folder that we want, for example, here. And then we just want to go up to where it says extract. Now, if you do the extraction within the 7-zip, it doesn't seem to give us the error. So if you click extract, then it's going to ask you where you want to put it. So we click these three little dots here. If you're using WinRAR, it may appear the same. I personally don't use it, but uh, we just want to find our app data folder. So once you've done that and we're in our community folder, you can just go ahead and press OK which you'll see here, this updates the path for you. Now, after you've done that, we can simply hit OK here to extract. It's going to tell me that I want to replace a couple because, of course, I've already got them in there. So I'm going to go no for these ones. So that's gone ahead and put them into my game. Now, what I'm going to do here is quickly launch up my game and I'll show you how to find your community folder for those of you who are struggling. So. I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so here we are loaded into the sim. Now, the first thing we want to do to be able to find these files is actually enable developer mode. So for those of you who already have it on, then you won't need to do this section here. But for those who don't know how to put it on, we go to options up the top here in our menu, go into general. Once this loads, we want to go down to developer and just turn this on. Now, once you do this, make sure you hit apply and save. And you should actually see this little black bar up the top here. Now, from within here, we want to go into Tools, and you'll see here Virtual File System. Now, once you click this, this window should pop up, and there's one of these options here that says Watched Bases. Now, you just want to hit the little arrow beside this, and this is actually going to display all the locations where the game is currently pulling data from. So, this can help you locate your initial game files, as well as your community folders for those who seem to put it in their file and then nothing appears in your game. So obviously we can't see the full uh, name unless we hover over it. There's a little uh, half triangle down here in the in the corner. If you just click on that and hold and you can drag that right out. So you can see here that it's showing me where all of my stuff is located. So you can see C drive, of course, app data, roaming, Microsoft Flight Simulator packages, community, official, Steam. And then of course it's got just the common stuff for the packages that that's the initial one gig that steam downloads there so if this video helped you remember to hit the thumbs up leave a comment below if you have any questions and uh, if you haven't already make sure you subscribe i'll see you in the next one